Hey, Ozzy247 here with part 3 of my Captain America shield or Captain America LARP shield build. Yeah. What what we see in front of us right now is the templating and stenciling or guidelines, should I say, of where I'm going to be gluing stuff down. So we have the handle here which is going to go right here like that, that will be glued down on those areas there and there stuck down to those squares here in the middle here there's a circle you might be wondering why but the reason that is there is so I can put a few more layers of foam on the inside like this to give it a bit of extra padding so when a sword hits this and gives it a bit of an extra blow or when it gets a sword blow, like a sword hit. Um, basically, that will that should absorb some of or some or most of the impact right there. So here's how I'm going to stick this together. I'm going to put this down using this glue. I'm going to go around there, around there on that surface. Stick that down. Stick that down. Actually, put these on first. Like that. Put this on here first. This this is. Uh, let's see. It's like backing cardboard for comic books or um, mount board or pasteboard. I'm not sure on the actual name of it, but it's very rigid cardboard and very thin. And when I put fiberglass on it, it will absorb up and become like plastic. Adding a little bit of extra stability for the LARP shield. Yeah. And so that will go here. Uh, that's the for the forearm strap, so it goes over like that. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that on anytime soon, sorry. Pretty much that's the strap that goes around your forearm. That goes there. And then I'll be gluing the handle and the forearm strap down. Like that. Now when I do that, I will get back to you. Welcome back. As you can see, everything is now being glued down and it's nice and rigid and not falling off or anything like that. Yeah. You could actually use this right now as it is for like a cosplay shield or what have you. And it would last a few conventions, I think. But alas, this isn't just for cosplay, so I have to reinforce this sucker now, don't I? It's time to do the thing I dread the most about this build. The fiberglassing. Yes, the fiberglassing. Hopefully when I return, everything will be fiberglassed and sanded down, neat and tidy, all neat and tidy, yeah. Anyway, stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. So this is about 40 minutes after fiberglassing, and... In hindsight, I really should have, uh, what you call it, actually done the fiberglass thing before I painted. Looking back on this now. But I guess I'll 
Yeah, that's just a little reflection, I guess. Yeah. All right, well, I will see you when this is finished and sanded. All right, Ballsy247, and welcome back. This is this is now the next day for me, but instantaneous for you. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, everything looks good on the front of the shield. Everything shiny, neat and tidy. That rhymed. I'm a post and didn't even know it. <laughs> and also, when I turn it around, place it down. It also rhymed, damn it. Everything is now fiberglassed and sounds like plastic and feels like plastic. Everything is now primed and painted as well. So yeah. And the strapping the strapping is not gonna be coming undone anytime soon unless you decide to cut it or really try your hardest to maybe pull it out. Yeah. few tips with the fiberglassing which I will which is from experience with this yesterday uh, wear long sleeves wear long pants when fiberglassing I, I learned that the hard way fiberglass dust from sanding hurts like hell it's like little miniature f fibers of glass literally slicing into your skin so I found out the hard way so yes, learn from that. Wear long sleeves, long pants. And also, if you're ever going to attempt this project and you're going to use, also do fiberglassing on the back, do the fiberglassing first and then the painting. Yeah. That's another little tip there for you. Well, in any case, fits on my arm quite nicely and it can adjust to other people's arm sizes because it's a belt yeah in any case <sighs> thanks for watching